What is going on, guys? I'm the judge. Uh, it is a Monday, November 1st, uh, early in the morning, my time. I got up early, guys. Uh, so hopefully you guys had a good Halloween as we enter a new month, a new week. And as always, a, a lot of things going on. Uh, this YouTube video will also be uh, in our weekly newsletter called The Brief, which should be out in a couple hours. Uh, make sure you sign up for that. We'll put the, the link uh, down in the description of this video. Make sure you're tuning in to our Twitch shows, which are daily. So they start daily at every day at uh, 6 p.m. Eastern. We break down the DFS slate, and then at 7 p.m. Eastern, we go into Top Shot uh, NFTs, and we break it all down. And we talk a lot of hoops, uh, but a lot of other things as well. But we are our, our will and always will kind of be a Top Shot-centric uh, program. And, and a lot of Top Shot news right now, and I think this is an important video that, that I, that I want to get up. Because, again, I haven't seen this kind of conversation that we're going to have today. Uh, from many other people in the space, and I just have some some thoughts and, and things that we need to uh, that I think that we should prepare for in the coming kind of month or, or months or even this this whole season. So uh, this week or last week, what, what did we see on Top Shot? Right, we saw uh, the Clay Thompson debut uh, get get distributed. Uh, that and the mint ended up being a little under 10k, which I thought Top Shot Top Shot did a good job with that. I mean. Remember, most of the, the, the debuts uh, are 12Ks. So getting Clay under a 10K for his first moment, uh, pretty cool. Uh, pretty cool. And that moment's doing really well. I think it was 100, like a low ad, low ask, it was like 160 or, or so. Uh, pretty solid there for the Clay debut. I'm happy to get it. I, I actually got a decent cereal. Uh, I think I got like a 590 cereal. Uh, so I'm very happy with that. I, I think it's a, it's a cool moment. Clay. Probably one of the most uh, anticipated debuts that we'll have for all of S3. Right now, again, there's some stud rookies, though. Oh, man, Mobley. Oh, Mobley! Uh, Scotty Barnes. Some of these rookies are, are studs. Um, they're going to be all-stars for a long time. But that, that Clay one was one we all had our eyes on. So it was nice for us to get that this week. And then we also had uh, the, Dwayne, the Dwayne Wade. Uh, is it a fandom moment? Uh, the Mint... You know, we could buy three packs of those, right? Of uh, uh, and uh, but each pack—it's really not a pack. It was one moment, right? Three times you could buy, and the mint. Uh, so this this Wade fandom, oh, actually, it's a vintage vibes. Uh, looks like uh, moment, and you can see it right on the screen here, right? Right? And it's a uh, the mint count is two hundred thirty-nine thousand eight hundred eighty-two. It's a high mint, the highest mint that FanDuel, the FanDuel, <laughs> Jesus, oh, you can tell. I've, uh, by the way, this weekend I was in Boston uh, talking a lot of uh, uh, a lot of DFS. Not, not well, I was talking about Superdraft. Um, so I have, some, I have DFS a little bit on my mind. Also, that was the first time I actually traveled um, since since kind of COVID. Uh, and COVID, you know, I, I had a, a really rough bout with that, I think, as I've explained to you guys. Um, you know, and just I hope you guys are just doing well. We don't really talk about it too much anymore, right? But that that it's kind of tough. It was a tough, even still now, uh, psychologically, what that whole year, how it's going on, what, two years now? How long it's been? I don't even, who the hell even knows how long our lives have really been impacted in a lot of different ways uh, by just, by that illness and what it's done uh, just to our norms, the norms that we used to have uh, in society, right? And, and, you know, whether it's you were working from an office, now you're working from home, and it's really changed a lot. And, and psychologically, it's been, uh, you know, I think it's played a role. Uh, you may not even know it, right, in a lot of a lot of our behaviors and a lot of things that we do now. And I just hope all you guys are, are doing well, you're doing okay, and you've adjusted to the, you know, what we've had, kind of had to deal with all of, all together uh, with, 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 with what, what, uh, what, what COVID brought to us. Um, so that was my first time traveling. You know, and I don't know how long. I got in a plane and I went to Boston for the day. Um, I, I I gotta say, it was a, like for me, it was a psychological hurdle to get over. Uh, it, it was so uh, all in all, a, a pretty good day. It was exhausting, but but a good day. I just just again flew in the morning and then flew back at night because I gotta be with you. I gotta do these videos. Uh, but you know, I just just want I also want to note that. And again, hope hope you guys are all doing well. Uh, and and just remember to take care of your 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 yourself physically and, and mentally. And it hasn't been an easy time, right? Uh, and and a lot of our, our, our lives have, have changed that we've had to alter some of our behaviors, right? It's uh, A lot of us have had to isolate a little bit more because uh, we're not getting out as much. Uh, I know that's certainly the case for me. So it was good to get out a little bit. Um, so I think all of you, all of us, are hopefully are getting out a little bit more now. Um, but I digress. Uh, back to Top Shot. So 
Uh, again, this was the highest mint that we've seen on Top Shot, right? Uh, and it's a massive mint. And look, I think you may ask, well, why did Top Shot do this? I mean, first of all, it's Dwayne Wade, right? So it's a sensational player. Uh, it's it's you know uh, my second favorite player of all time behind Jordan. And some people I'm, I'm seeing uh, saying this is a cash grab by, by Top Shot. I mean, you know, I, I I don't necessarily necessarily think that's the case. I, I think. Now, did they have to, to, to do this and <laughs> give us this massive mint? No, but I think they're they're preparing us, right? And this is kind of what I want to talk about uh, in today's video. Uh, they're preparing us for the future of Top Shot and the near future. It's coming fast, and that's PAX. PAX. Again, they already said in their S3 roadmap that you will be able to buy a 10 packs a per week, uh, base packs, at some point during the season. And I think that's coming fast. Uh, they already said uh, S3 packs may be released this coming week uh and again uh, this wade that was the first time we could buy multiple packs so i think they were testing out the fact that we're, we're allowed to buy multiple packs and seeing how that pack experience went now personally for me uh i did not enjoy opening those th those wade moments with uh that massive mint count if you watched me on the show on that on the stream uh, right i opened them up uh my first one i got i popped uh, the hundred fifty thousand, right uh, or no, I think I got 207,000 a mint on my first one, and after that, I, I just <laughs> kind of rapid fire, just press, 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 and I, you know, and I, I said I wasn't going to get mad at, at at getting those high mints, but I did. I was, you know, I was slamming the gavel down because it just, you know, it wasn't <laughs> exciting to to get uh, mints like that for me, for me. Now again, for for. You, I'm curious to know your thoughts. Did, did you find the experience okay? Did were, were you was was it still opening a pack? Was it still exciting? Um, let me know. Let me know your thoughts. Uh, for me, it, it it was not a experience that I really truly enjoyed, and I'm not looking forward to uh, the future when we are having gonna have mints like this. Uh, and again, this is coming. Right uh, now, again, it will be a little different because it won't be all the same moment. It will be you chance you get different players, different moments. Right, this was all you know. You knew the player, you knew the moment, uh, but. Also, it always won't be weights. It's gonna be it's gonna be players that, that suck. Uh, a lot of players, right? In these base packs that we're gonna be getting. But look, I think we are going to be uh, top shot. They want to they they want to mirror the physical card space. They want you to be able to go on the, lo the, the go on, log on to the website and buy packs at all times. New users come in and they buy packs and they buy packs and they rip packs because we all love. Well, we we love we did love the pack opening ex experience. But I, I think it's a precarious situation that, that, that they're putting us in right now. Like, I, I think it is it is a good idea to have the ability to buy these packs. Um, but if you have a massive user base, right, if you have new users coming in, right, and we have the demand for all these packs, and I just don't think we're there yet. Now, will we get there? I hope so. I think so. But we're not there right now. So so I, I'm not sure why Top Shot is rushing um this idea of doing all these packs and like I know we're starting out with a base of 60k CC right uh, the base packs in s3 but come on if, if you if you're re reading the blogs and you're seeing that you're gonna be able to buy 10 packs a week that number's going to be in so much so much insanely higher than that at the end of the day when it does finally turn LE right if you can buy these 10 packs a week and uh, I'm curious to see the behavior. I'm curious to see how many people will be buying 10 packs a week. I know I will be at first, right? A lot of the reasons I, I will be just for content for you guys. You guys love love when I open up and I get crappy players and I get bad cereals. Uh, but I'm curious to see how many people are going to keep going after uh, 10 packs a week when you keep opening them up, them up and you can't really get – your odds of getting uh, a good moment, a good player are not great, and your odds of getting uh, a crappy cereal or a great cereal are not great. Right? Your odds of getting a crappy cereal are great. Uh, and, and, you know, I know just from last year's the playoff packs. And those were what? Uh, I don't even remember. A, a 12 came in? And, and you knew those weren't very very valuable. Uh, and those were not exciting to open towards the end. So I, I'm I, I'm a little nervous about having uh, get, being able to oh, get, get all these packs. Uh, and uh, what's the excitement level going to be? Uh, what's the enthusiasm? And where's the demand for it? Where are the new users? Um, so, again, I think Top Shot was getting us ready for what's to come with this Wade moment. Uh, massive mint counts, um, multiple packs. I think that's what they were doing. Um, and that's coming. And it's coming sooner than we think. Now, this week, I think already we'll be having S3 packs. If not this week, I think in the week after that, uh, base packs. And then 
I think a lot sooner than a lot of us think, 10 packs a week. Now, I think it's important to notice what's happening in the Top Shot marketplace. What's happening with your account right now on Top Shot? Um, with my account, it's starting to go back down, right? Um, so it's bizarre in a way because uh, why are things not correlating to how they should be with actual basketball? It's rhetorical, but even though, uh, I'll tell you the answer. Uh, so, again, the playoffs, which we had a great playoffs last year. Uh, we should have been pumping, and we crashed. Uh, the NBA season starting, we should be pumping. Uh, we're starting to, I won't call it a crash, but we're, we're faltering. The market's faltering. Um, and it, it's, uh, it's a little frustrating, but not surprising. Why? Because we know. We know why. We, we, we know this user base is not filled with, with NBA and basketball fans. It's, still, it's, just, it's the same user base. It's the same user base we had last season, right? And that's, again, a lot of crypto people who found this product. Uh, and, and, and we still don't have a ton of basketball fans on the platform. And also, what I just said about why I'm nervous about having all these packs. We don't have the users. We don't have the new users yet. So, like, let's break it down. What happened on August 11th of this past, you know, the, the summer? In the, that was the summer, right? August 11th. We start. We, we started to pump. The off season hit. Uh, we crashed for six months, right? But we stayed. We stayed here on the platform, and we kept buying. And we got great deals during that crash, by the way. Um, so August 11th hits. Top Shot's rolling out this great utility. They're making great moves in the off season. NBA draft. Uh, they're doing all kinds of cool stuff, right? The, the, the summer. The summer league in Vegas was great. The kiosk of the game. We're getting excited. Um, and people are back to the platform, and they and they come back August 11th. We see a pump. Uh, so again, a lot of the early adopters that left, that they're coming back. A lot of the people who had were, were trying to flip in the NFT space, uh, they came back a for a little bit, and they got to the marketplace. And what did, what did they do? Well, they bought. They bought the moments that were on the marketplace. But what was crucial about that time period? There were no new moments. Th there was no new moments that, that were being released by Top Shot. And this is a game of scarcity. It's a game of supply and demand. The supply had not increased, but the demand was going up because people were coming back. Um, so people, when they were buying, they were buying moments that already existed on the site. And we had, we had all those moments because we were buying those moments during the crash. We kept buying. Um, so our accounts were started skyrocketing up, and it was great. Um, but what's happened since then, right? A Top Shot just released a 40,000 rare packs. And last week, with the archive moments, they just put out 400,000 archive moments into the, into the ecosystem, right? So suddenly, we've got a massive new amount of supply, but where's the demand? We don't have new users. The demand has not gone up. So we just jacked up the supply with no new demand and no new users. So it doesn't take a, a, a genius to figure out, well, shit, that's a little scary. Uh, and not surprisingly, our accounts are coming down again. Um, and again, which all leads me to uh, the fact why, uh, again, I think we're, we're headed to a, a, a little rough, a rough stretch, a rough patch here now for the foreseeable future until we get new users. A and I don't know when this is going to come, right? Like. I, Jacob came on the show, and he wasn't overly concerned a, about this last week. And I, I, I asked him a little bit, right, about new users, and um, you know, he doesn't like the marketing question, and and that's and that's fine, but it's a fair question. Uh, and you know, they they say they have been doing marketing, right? If you look on Twitter, they, they you do, and they are right. They got they got Durant, and they got Wade to sign up, and 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 uh, uh, to join Top Top Shot a little bit. Uh, all the rookies have been tweeting out about it, um, but that's not like Twitter. It, can't be your ma big marketing plan. You do actually at some point have to do real marketing. Um, and that's why we, we ask. And if they don't like the question, well, tough, right? <laughs> I mean, uh, they're, they, they're making so much money. Uh, you know, uh, we knew new users. So do some marketing. Like, it's time. It's time. It's time to get out of beta. And it's time to really ramp things up. Um, now, again, uh, they they say they have uh, UFC and La Liga and NFL coming soon, and that will bring new people on the flow, on the dapper, 
and, and they'll, they'll they'll come over to, to to NBA Top Shot. Maybe I hope so. I hope I hope that's the case, right? But but. Hell or high water? Is that the right phrase? I don't even know. We need new, we need new users. Um, otherwise, our, our accounts, uh, uh, unless Top Shot adds you know adds some new, new utility, uh, adds some new features, which they could do, right? There they they absolutely could do rake back. By the way, holy! Now would be the time to unleash the rake back. Now would be the time. Like we are going to struggle. There's no new rare pack, no new legendary pack. People don't need a high collector score right now. Uh, until what, what, what's, what's the next? What's, what's, what's the next like rare legendary pack that we're aware of? It's Christmas. Deck the halls. Deck the hoops. Right. So um, right now you don't need that collector score. Uh, and we're, the other thing that we're now seeing again, to the surprise of no one, uh, the OGs, early adopters, they're now fire selling again. Uh, you look at the low ask of all the moments that I own, the S1 debuts. Right. Uh, they're all from the early adopters, OGs, who bought those moments for a dollar, and they can sell at any price uh, they did before, and they're doing it again. And, th and this, again, this is not a knock on them. Um, maybe a slight knock. Uh, but, they, that, again, that's their right to do it, right? They got in the site early, and they bought for super cheap. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, would it make sense uh, to, if I were them, maybe to sell a little bit and put it, just put it in crypto? Because crypto is, you know, mooning, right? Another reason why uh, our NFTs, besides in the, you know, the... Uh, Open seas area and our PFPs are, are you know crashing uh, during uh, NFT week in, in in New York by the way, which is ironic. Uh, but also, why our top shot accounts in a lot in, in some instances are, are are falling because again, uh, why would you want to own something that you know is going to keep going down? We could put it in some in a, in an area in crypto right now where you know it's pretty much going to go up. And so yeah, you're seeing a lot a lot of the same uh, you know actors who before hurt our accounts are are doing it again. Um, and again, not a knock on them. It's just the reality of the situation that we're in. It's something that, again, we need to be monitoring. And again, a big reason why my account is going down because I have all those top shot debuts. And those are the moments that a very few uh, of the early adopters, they've cornered the market on. They own 40 or 50, which is why um, I've tried to now in the last few months stay away from buying the top shot debuts and go into the rares, go into the low, go into play the game of scarcity, go into the lower mints uh, where people uh, can only, make, yeah, I think the max amount of holders that people have in those moments is like three or, or four uh, of, the, of those instead of having 50 uh, of a moment. And, th and that's, that's a big deal. And that's a big deal when it comes to, uh, com when it comes to how quickly your, your, that moment can go down in value. Uh, so yeah, right now you have a lot of things in play that, that, that are kind of working against us. But I do also want to say... As Jacob said, as, as Roham said, this is a long-term multi-generational product. You don't need to be watching your account on Top Shot every day. You just don't. You don't need to go. I didn't look at it for four months back when we were crashing in, in the in the you know last uh, spring and summer, right? So, um, I I think that when I look at bailiff, what's going on? Oh, hold on, buddy. Hold on. The bailiff needs me. When the bailiff needs me, I go. I'll be right back. He needs a ball. I love, it, I love it, little guy, but man, whew, it's a lot of work. Uh, so, again, last the last time that we crashed, the last time that we saw this, these same behaviors, uh, uh, you know, from the same people kind of dumping fire sailing moments, uh, and then uh, some panic will spread in, right? And you'll see more more, more people kind of dumping and, and, and kind of get leaving, uh, maybe leaving the space or, or just looking, or to, to, to liquidate in order to buy the 400,000 new moments they dumped last week, right? Again, uh... <laughs> The, the supply is skyrocketed. So uh, this time, when people are going to buy uh, the newer moments, they're selling, they're liquidating to get the, the cash, uh, to get the dapper, to buy the new moments, right? Whereas before, when we pumped, there was no new supply. So that you had to buy what was there. Now there's all these new moments, so people are, are selling a lot of the, the stuff um, that they had to buy the newer stuff, buy the archive moments, buy the rare run it backs, whatever. Um, but... When I look back at my collection, and you probably look back at yours, some of the best moments that we have in our collections are the ones we got when we when we crashed, right? In the summer, we were buying, and 
moments kept getting lower and lower and lower, and we were able to buy and get some great deals. And this could not be a better time for that. And I'm seeing it already. I'm watching Live Token always. Right now, i got a screen on, my, on Live Token right over here. Um, this one's Top Shop, but that, that one's uh, Live Token. And I'm seeing great deals again. I'm seeing a lot of rares. Zion's been hurt. I'm seeing a lot of Zions. Now, Zion, we're, uh, my next video, by the way, is going to be on, on players that target uh, a lot of the, 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 the second-year players who are struggling uh, and, and, uh, and, and some other guys that, that we can look to, to, to maybe kind of go after right now. Um, it's coming this week. But um, like th there is an opportunity here to, to buy. And again, we want to buy. Let's play the scarcity game. We want low mint counts. We want rares. Um, and again, at some point, already, a lot of these are out of our price range. But in this next month, I don't know how long this, this current kind of dip will last. We have an opportunity again to pick up some of these moments that we've committed, right? Some of these moments that got out of our price range are going to come back in. So w what we need to do is focus on what those moments are. What are the moments that we want or that we want to covet, that we want uh, to go after, uh, pick our trigger point, and we go. Uh, and we go and we feel good about it. Why? Because it's a long-term play here. This is the long term, and that's what the people on this platform, they don't get because they got the crypto mine, right? They want to flip. They want to flip and make a 10 times, 100 times th their investment. And that's just not what Top Shot is. We love hoops. We want to collect it, right? Um, and again, we have a chance to get some uh, of these great moments again. I think we will. I, I'm seeing it already. Uh, um, that some of these are falling, falling down, getting close to being in, in my price range and getting close to being in yours. Um, and they're still, I th I'm telling you, you see what Top Shot did this past week. Packs, 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 mint counts skyrocketing. What do we do? We go after S1s and S2s with the low mint counts. We go after scarcity. We go after, again, even 35, 40Ks. Those mint counts are going to look very low very soon. So you can go after some good cereals there for very cheap. The 15Ks, don't even know the 15Ks exist. We do. Um, you can go after, again, the, the MGLE S2s. They're 499 mints. Some of my favorite moments on the site. Um, again, collect the seeing stars. We know, th again, that set is going to be, I, in my opinion, the second most coveted set on the platform after the Cool Cats. Yeah, financial advice. Buy the seeing stars. And it's crashing right now. Oh, not crashing. It's dipping. It's falling. All of the players right now, it's falling. There's a lot of stuff right now that's falling that is going to be valuable. And that we can attack, and we can be, be, we can buy, and we can feel good about it. And don't could be concerned if your account falls in the next month or so, because it's probably going to. Mine is has been tumbling now for a little bit, and and I expect it to continue to. Uh, but is that going to inhibit me um, from from buying? No. Will it make me cautious? Yeah. Will I be smart about what I buy? Yes. Do we have to be aware of who of if some of the early adopters and OGs are, are fire selling again? Yeah, we do. And we again, that's why we talk about it. So we're we're aware of what's happening constantly on the marketplace. So we can make smart, educated decisions and, and know uh, what are, are are the moments that we should be targeting, right? So we talk about every night on the show. Um. So again, I, I think uh, there there there's it's going to be a, a, a super interesting time in many ways. It maybe it's a frustrating time for some of us, but uh, let me know your thoughts below. I, I mean, maybe you want. To get 10 packs a week maybe you you loved opening the weights uh maybe you loved again the, the archive pack experience a lot of you guys seem to like right um even though th those again are not great uh in, in value and but those were cool moments those are cool players so i, I think people people can, can disagree on what, what what they think about you know having all these packs that are going to be available and and what the future holds regarding that i know for me personally though uh, um I'm not a fan of it, and again, the main reason is because the user base isn't there yet. Uh, I think we need the demand before we jack up the supply. Uh, so we'll see. Uh, but either way, these packs are coming. Uh, they're inevitable. I want you guys to be uh, aware of it. I want you guys to be ready uh, for when this, uh, when the packs are, are are coming, and they're coming fast. And I want you to be aware uh, again. If the, if no u new users are coming on the platform. The, our accounts are going to continue to dip a little bit, uh, and let's focus our priorities uh, on the positives of this, because uh, again, the positives will be moments will will start falling back down I into our price range, um, and again, at some point, the new users uh, hopefully will come, uh, and when they do, those moments 
eventually, at some point, the S1s and S2s, they'll, they'll, they'll get to a point, they will be out of hand. Uh, and they'll be in, also when I talk about hands, they'll be in the hands of collectors uh, who want to hold on to it. Um, and when that happens, that's when we really, really go to the moon. Um, so again, I, me personally, I want to get the moments before that happens, right? Because at some point, just they ultimately will, will be out of our hands, uh, out of our price ranges, uh, probably forever. So again, let's take advantage of the opportunity if it does present itself uh, to get a, a few more uh, of the moments that we covet, a few mom a few more of the epic moments on the site. Um, and there's a lot, of, there's a lot, there's a lot out there. There's a lot of really, really great moments that we can go after. Uh, so. Uh, that's kind of what I wanted to say for today's video. I kind of, just, again, let's prepare ourselves. Let's prepare ourselves for what's probably going to happen uh, for the kind of foreseeable future until something changes. And again, in this space, things can change fast, right? Topshot can make one announcement today, adding utility to something, uh, and, and it would change. They could add a challenge, a quest. I mean, you know, there's all you always got to be got to be paying attention. So, um, and I will be, we will be. So uh, again, follow. Follow us, uh, obviously, uh, on YouTube. Follow us, uh, you know, if you could like and subscribe to the video, I would appreciate it. Uh, uh, let me know your comments below. Uh, I'm going to come back later uh, uh, in a couple days from now and give you my thoughts on what are some of the moments, players, that we should be looking after right now based on what's going on. There's real basketball going on, and it's great. It's phenomenal. So who should we t who should we be targeting? Who should we, we be staying away based on, on, on the on-court performance I want to talk about? Um, and... and you know, I'm looking forward to doing that. So follow us. We're live every night on Twitch. Uh, get in our Discord. And if you have a any questions or concerns, feel free to ask. I mean, that's what I'm here. I'm hoping here to help you navigate uh, this this wild space uh, and be on this journey with you, and help you avoid a lot of the mistakes that I made when I first joined when I first joined Top Shot, uh, because I I made a lot and I made a lot because. Um, yeah, I, I kind of trusted the wrong people, and I didn't have people helping to guide me. Um, and again, but ultimately, I made those choices. I, you, you can't blame anyone else for what you buy. You gotta look in the mirror and, and yourself. But it does help if you have so, if you if you can trust. You know, you have people you trust and people who can help you navigate the space. Um, so hopefully, you know, that's why I'm here. And hopefully, I can I can help you uh, help you guide you through here. Have a great time. And, you know, hopefully, you make some money too. So, uh, you know, follow us, uh, uh, you know, on Twitch, get in our Discord, uh, subscribe to The Brief, our weekly newsletter, uh, and, you know, have, have any other questions, comments, feel free to uh, drop them in the comments below or just reach out to me and let me know. Uh, other than that, that's it for today's video. Uh, for the judge and the bailiff, court is...